Stop right there. Whew, we got ourselves a sealed case of collector booster boxes. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is going to be exciting because of the possibility we could pull a serial numbered card out of one of these. This is what it's all about, baby. This is what it's all about. We are looking for the meat and potatoes. We are looking for what's really gravy, baby. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready? Let's get into cracking, Captain. Thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. A little more chill, a little more calm today. I think we're going to do, what, three? Three and three. Do two videos. Let's see what we get. Get a cool little thumbnail, maybe. Start things off. Bam. Is that cool for a thumb? Maybe. All right. Box one. Yeah, a little more chill video today. Uh, the old ball and chain's not with me for this one. She's at work. I got Jaxie upstairs taking a little nap, a little snoozer. So what better time to crack some packs, baby. Also, for patrons, I should be doing a collector box, uh, collector box break. So, yeah. Not sure when uh, I'm going to announce it. I'm waiting on a price. That's it. I'm just waiting on a price. Waiting to see how much uh, it's going to cost before I list anything. Let's go. This is These are exciting to crack, man. I'm not going to spend as much time, though. We already know a lot of what's in here. So, we're kind of going to, like, blow through everything. All right. There we go. Bam. And then we got this, that, and the other. Underground. Sure. Wire surgeons. We're looking for the serial number, guys. Serial numbered guts and such. All right. Cyclonus. And so, whew, those still look really sharp. There's no denying this. They look beautiful. All right. Put that off to the side and keeping it trucking. Look at that. Already on a pack, too. Who would have thought, huh? But, uh, yeah. Anyone cracking these serial numbers? What is this? Evolving Wilds, yeah, land sacrifice, Evolving Wilds, search for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield, tap and shuffle. What the heck? Okay, uh, really good card, and it's in the common slot. Um, Evolving Wilds, uh, this is officially busted. All right, we're, what? That's the first time I've seen this card, and uh, I can assure you of this. Probably the last time. Probably the last time. That is That is very interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness, Brotherhood, the Brotherhood, and what, 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 you go over there, sorry guys, all right, we, we're looking for the serial numbered cards at this point, so we are zipping on through, zippity doo da, zippity day, Swiftfoot Boots, Millstone, the old Spike, and we got Cruel Tormentor, I wonder if we've cracked every single one uh, of these cards, every single one of uh, the Transformers, Howling Mine looks gorgeous, serial numbered, it'll stand out, and uh, I hope we pull one just so I can show you how... Uh, there's another Evolving Wilds. Really sick. Uh, just how... Uh, how disappointed I am <laughs> with, with Wizard's choice in where they put the serial number and how the serial number is presented, I think, is just awful. It's awful. Cage Sun, gorgeous. We got a Robo. We got a Robot there. Cage Sun as well. Okay. Okay. A little less caffeine today. You know what I'm saying? A little less caffeine. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Thrawn, we are looking for the big ones. Or like, you know, uh, some Planeswalkers would be really cool to hit as well. Uh, go check out Ground Zero Comics in Strongsville, Ohio, if you guys are ever in the area. It's right by the Turnpike, right by uh, the freeway. There is Inspiring sanct uh, st Statuary. Stat statuary. Very fun. Okay. And prices are dropping on these cards. The serial numbered cards, it'll be a little difficult at first to really understand the, the price of what they're going for. But in time, the more uh, the more time that passes, the more we will know. Uh, there's one with the multiverse. Pretty sweet. Ooh, double uh, mythic pack. City skate boy. Triple mythic pack. Holy shit. The first three in a row. Uh, this was 30 bucks. I'm not sure what the price is at now. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is looking really juicy. What do we got? Are we going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll put that in the mythic pile. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Chromatic Star. Self-Assembler. The old Rune Chanter, sure. And Blaster Boy. The Comic DJ. Combat DJ. Bam. And Persecutor Gollum. Yeah, the stamp will be right here, and it'll be clear as day. 
uh, when we do get one. It'll be it's like a bold, thick black bold background. What do you what do you think they could have done different? What do you think Wizards could have done different as far as these go? Uh, as far as the serial stamp placement goes, and uh, just the look of the serial number. Because I think all they had to do was take a page out of the notebooks of good old, uh, um, of, of good old uh, like baseball, basketball, football cards, sports cards in general. That's all they had to do. And they would have known about the serial number. Instead, they got this huge thing that's blurring out the sun. <laughs> it, it probably consumes about 3% of the artwork. Which I think is a little ridiculous, you know. It's a bit ridiculous. Another Revolving Wild. They're really spewing them out here. Some Beachhead. I'll go for some of that. And there you go. Tefiri Temporal Pilgrim Hot Dogs. We got to give love where love is due. And there it is. Tefiri Temporal Pilgrim. Uh, the Ark um, Amanadrate. Did we get four Mythics in that one pack? I don't recall. I can't, I can't be certain on that. Oh, boy. Elsewhere Flask. But if we did, wow. That's, that's nuts. Elsewhere Flask Tower, Dragon Engine. Seen a lot of those. <laughs> Prowl Defense Grid. We want to hit that serial number. I think this, yeah, the serial number should be in the very last slot there. So I hope you guys are tuned in just for the sake of us hitting a serial numbered card. I think that's what a lot of you are here for. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping we can. Here we go. The Stasis Coffin. Oh boy. I can't imagine they're that difficult to pull. And they're difficult. Maybe like what? One in every like other case, maybe? One in every other case? I'm not positive. We, I don't know. I don't have enough. Uh, I, I don't know enough about this product just yet. So we'll see as we keep, continue just to crack packs. But I'll have a really good idea very soon of uh, the pool rate of those. I'm sure there's already information out there. If anyone knows the pool rates for the serial numbered cards, Please let me know. Uh, there's Crown. And I guess you can only get the serial number cards on the, uh, I'll show you, on the artifacts, on these boys right here. Yeah. There's John and Tommy, Swiftfoot Booties, Automaton, Jetfire. I guess these are the scarcest stuff. If you get a foil, they are as scarce as the Neon Ink cards, which is pretty insane. That's how scarce they are. Uh, if anything, they should have serial numbered those as well. If that's how crazy scarce they are, you know. But I don't. I'm, I honestly, I don't know if they did or not. I don't know if they did or not. And if they did, I mean, I would imagine throwing like a serial number, like five, like five hundred on them or something, you know, or a thousand, you know, something like that it would have been a uh, would have been a good idea. Loran Rescue Retriever, sure. Bone saw, bone saw, door to nothing. Star Screen Boy. Okay. Oh, Blade Coil Serpent looks pretty cool. Uh, any extended foil art mythic is really uh, probably going to pack some value in this set. Uh, not all of them, but quite a few. That was nice. Two more packs to go, and then we're going to get on to our next collector box. Come on, something just silly. Oh, I think we have, is that like another Tefiri or something like that? Mindbreaker, Mishra, it's Mishra, bada bing, Mishra, we got Tefiri, we got Mishra, we're missing Urza, baby, we're missing Urza, well, that's not the, uh, that's not the exact Mishra you want there, uh, a little, a uh, little, uh, you know, not so hot to try, okay, Mishra's Bobble, and I guess there's a lot of Mishra and a lot of Urza cards in this, there's an, there's an uncommon Urza, I didn't even know that. I was not aware until someone mentioned that. So actually, I'm going to keep an eye out for that card, even though we may have already gone over it. But there's supposed to be an uncommon Urza. Is it like a sor is it the sorcery Urza? No, no, I mean, or is it like an actual Urza? I don't know. Uh, there's Mr.'s Research, Take Flight. Okay, see, I didn't see nothing there. Okay. All right. But I, they may not be that common. Who knows? Command, Scholar. There's Millstone, Soul Guide, and Psychosis Crawler. Blaster Combat DJ shows up. Oh. <sighs> Is there a second Black Blade Reforged in there? In that same in that same uh same box? No, right? Here's all of these we got. So we got Sword of the Meek. Okay. Alright, on the next box. Let's do this. Yeah. 
I do want to get one of my, I want to get one personal box of Brothers War, uh, a collector for myself to crack open. I think that would be really fun. And uh, yeah, this, uh, as many of you have mentioned in the comment section, it gives you that feel of the whole Urza block again, you know? I mean, it should because there's a, there's a few cards from the Urza block that they did in the artifacts here. Plus you have Urza up in here. I mean, there's just a lot of things, you know, that really uh, lead you to the whole Urza. There you go. Wondrous, come on. Here we go. Shake and Bake Baby looking for that big hit. Howling Mine. Arky Sharpshooter. Unwinding Clock. Just take out the L. And there you have it. You know, isn't that something? All right. Still going. Still going strong. Still going strong. Come on. Come on. Give me a serial number. Give me like an Urza. We did uh, hit. I can't believe like the views on some of these other videos are so low. But then again, I can because a lot of people get the product now earlier than I do. So it is what it is. Sad, sad, sad times. I know, sad times. Here we go. Self assembler, bone saw, keening stone, and star scream. Come on, siege veteran. Not a, not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of. Come on, give us something to talk about. Give us something to talk about. If anyone sees that Urza card, just tell me, and I'll make sure I pause it. Uh, Hercules, Marker, Marshall, there you go. Burnished Heart, Ivory Tower, Inspiring Statuary, Statuary. Goldbug, I guess, is Bumblebee. Little did I know. Ashnod, uh, Flesh Mechanist. The old one drop. Uh, to actually, you know, if you do create a tap power stone. A lot of power stones going on here. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a tap through the color of zombie armor. Wow. The, now, the number of abilities on these cards nowadays blows my mind for a one drop. You get all that. That would have been like a three drop back in the day. <laughs> you know? That would have been like a three drop. Are there still 12 packs in here? It almost feels like there's 14. I don't know why. I don't know. Again, there's always 12, right? Sure. Combat. Haywire. Diabolic Intent. Pretty legit card. Another Diabolic Intent. Hey, I, I love hate when they do that. I mean, when it's a good pool... You don't really get to, uh, you, you don't get upset at all about it, you know, but when it's, when it's not, it's kind of crappy, you know, uh, Soundwave Sonic, uh, Spy Boy, and the old Jorniers Kite, Jorniers Jor, Kite, sure, all right, looking for the mythic hits, looking for serial numbered artifacts, I mean, we got a whole case, might get one, what if it's one per case, could be. I mean, if you have what 125, was there 125 different artifacts, and uh, they're numbered to like, there's like all those 125, there exists a version that's numbered to 500, right? Mystic Forge, first time hitting that, very cool. First time hitting that, I'll give it a bell. There you go, Mystic Forge, very nice. Put that in the Mythic pile. Megatron Tyrant, and, oh, that would have been sick to get a Worm Coil engine like that, but still, that's a nice pull. That's a nice pull, very cool. Where's the other bell? We're doubling belling. It's double bell season around here, baby. Ooh, nice worm coil engine. Yeah, I'm doing this while Jax is sleeping, so uh, just a nap. So hopefully I can plow through this. And maybe the other collector, uh, the other video too. We'll see. Reconstruction, Lawn of War Wastes, Mishra Imminent One. That's from the uh, Commander, right? So it's not the flip, yeah. That's from the uh, Commander. There you go. Very nice. We'll put that up in the sweetness pile. Okay, no serial number, no serial number, no serial number. Defense grid, though. Ultra Moistness, Magnus, and Cage Sun, our second Cage Sun. I feel like we pulled like a foil Cage Sun on every single one now, um, which is a bit overkill. I've opened four collector boxes as of this moment right here, right now. Three foil Cage of the Suns. What's going on there? Urza's Rebuff. Okay, Swampy. Arcane Proxy. That looks sweet. There you go. Foil Arcane Proxy. Urza, Prince of Krog. There you go. So many different art variations. Holy crap, man. Uh, that one's nice, though. Antonos. Another mythic. So double mythic pack as of Yow. All right. Mishra's Bobble. Price is a tankin'. Price is a tankin'. Swiftfoot Booties, Chromatic Lantern, Blitzwing. What do we got here? Oh, Battle Forge. Okay. Battlefield Forge. Very nice cards, though. All right. Still 
Still got our still got our fingers crossed. I would imagine we will eventually hit a serial numbered card. Um, when it'll happen, I do not know. <laughs> I am not that psychic. Uh, Vanguard Aviator, Soul Partition, New York, boy. Ornithopter, Self Assembler, Black Blade Reforged, and Jetfire. Okay. Ugh. Hey, the Anvil, I haven't seen that one yet. I feel like there's certain. I don't know how they distribute stuff, but man, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Like for us to pull three foil cages of the Suns, like how are they distributing this? Like, you know, how are they shuffling up? At the warehouse before it leaves, you know, like what are they doing? Because something's wrong. If we got three caged foil suns, it's just weird, you know. It's just weirdness, man. I don't know what to make of that. All right, we got a mountain. Argoth, Sanctum of Nature. It's only the second one I've seen so far. Uh, pretty cool card. There's another half of a uh, big old planeswalker dude there, or big old creature there. There you go, elemental. There you go. Got to combine the two cards. Uh, meld with Titania, Voice of Gaia. Okay. So you get a rare that melds with a mythic. That's how they went about this. Well played, Wizards. Well played. All right. The pilot. Mishra's Bobble again. I see why the price is tanking. There's have a billion of them everywhere. Astral Cornucopia. First time we've seen that one, too. Okay. Ooh. Flame War Brash Veteran. That one looks really sharp. Really freaking sharp. I'd like to do a price video on these cards. For sure, man. These things are really freaking cool. All right. I didn't like them at first, but they kind of grew on me a little bit. You know, they kind of grew on me a little bit. There we go. Yeah. All right. We got three packs. Three packs here, baby. Three packs here. Demolition Field, Forest. Fateful Handoff. Sure, sure. Stone Brain. And there you go. Sigil of Valor. Mm-hmm. Precursor's Golem, Prowl, Stoic. Some of these I'm sure are worth getting excited over. Oh, baby. There you go. That's a nice one. Uh, it, it doesn't really get too much more spicy than that now, does it, my friends? Uh, oh, wait, no, that's a, just a different Urza version. Um, I'd like to know what the, that Urza is going for. Urza Chief Artificer. At the end of this box, I will give it a look. Is it, It's Artificer, isn't it? Artificer? I would say Artificer. People stopped correcting me, though. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Give me the old correction. Okay, here we go. Calamity Plains, Automos, boy. Faithful Handoff and Thopter Shop. <sighs> Serial numbers, where are you at? Come on, come on out. Come on out from hiding. Star Screaming Hutch, yet again. And Fauna Shaman with the uh, extension. It's not extension, Joey. It's borderless. Uh, there's a border on that, so that's extended. All right. See what else? Is that Haley token in the back? We're not looking at any tokens. We just don't do that around here. All right, come on, Shump. Misery Shadow. Okay. That's a guy. Come on. I love Millstone. Very nice. Bow and Saw. And Helm of the Host. That's a good one. That is a nice one. We'll take that. Uh, Helm of the Host is really cool. Very cool. I remember when this car was only like, I think, like two or three bucks. It was insane. I can't believe it was so cheap, man. But yeah, price has gone up. Uh, for sure. Optimus and the old anvil again. Okay, okay, the old anvil again. Over into the rare pile you go. All right, let's pause it really quick. All right, like 18 bucks on that uh, that uh, Urza. But as far as the schematic foil serial number cards go, there's a few on TCG Player, and the prices I'm seeing kind of reflect what I thought they would be going for. And uh, that is, uh, I'm seeing prices between 200 and 400 right now. Not a bunch of, not all the cards are listed. They're, we're still gathering a lot of data. There's barely any listed on the site. But I would assume, yeah, if it's a rare mythic, you know, or one of the more desirables, you're probably looking at 200 bucks and up. Uh, but how long will that last? I don't know. I mean, it really depends. It all depends, man. We'll see. There's Herkel. Urkel, Herkel. Okay. Dig and Kayla's music box. Very nice. Millstone, can we get the old serial number, please, baby? Phyrexian and Slicer Hired Muscle. That's really cool. They did the whole neon ink thing again with these. I was not aware of that. Uh, someone pointed that out to me, and I got a little excited. I got a little excited. Will we hit one of those cards? I don't know. But with the uh, amount of product, we do crack. And I'm sure I'm going to open probably at least two more collector cases of this product. Uh, I know we're going to hit. 
We're going to hit something worse than some big box, but one that'll happen, I don't know. Awaken of the Woods. Awaken of the Woods. There we go. Okay. Glint. <sighs> Where's that, baby? Maze Mind and Ratchet. Every single pack, though, with these, I don't know about that. Howling Mine. <sighs> a lot of, not duplication, but a lot of repeat. A lot of repeat cards. Like, how many rares and mythics were there? Someone tell me how many rare artifact cards like that there are. And how many mythic cards there are out there. Staff of Titania. Sigil of Valor, sure. <sighs> they are teasing us with these, man. Cannot wait to, uh, to hit one of those, if we can. I hear the scarcity is nutty. So, there you go. And there's Grixis Command. And uh, for them to do it with actual, like, uh, a more playable card, like these Mythic uh, uh, robots, which are unique to their own right, um, I think that was a very smart move, you know? Opposed to, like, limiting a card like that's uncommon or common or something that's just not really playable. Um, not that all the bots, you know, are playable, but we'll see in time. Friction Dragon Engine, Over the Top, and Devastation with some metal. Can we get a sweet card? Cloud Key was nice. All right. Sharpshooter. Oh, beautiful Platinum Angel. That is dope. Beautiful Platinum Angel right there. I'll give that the bell. Might be 10 bucks. Might be 10 bucks. We'll see. Beautiful. Oh, that goes in the Mythic Pile. Very sweet little hit. It's the singles. It's in the area. Strongsville. Check out uh, Ground Zero, man. Check out Ground Zero. Mountain. Draconic Destiny. I was surprised that price is not really up there at all. It's like two bucks for that. Feldon and Blast Furnace. Sure. Pristine Burnished. Worm Coil Engine. Wow. I feel like that's the fourth Worm Coil Engine I've cracked so far. It's nutty, man. But remember, there's two different versions of these. Well, three if you count the serial numbered stuff. So pretty cool. Blaster Combat DJ and Maze Mind Tome. Dang, no serial number good. Okay. Question is, like, really, how scarce are these serial numbered cards? I mean, we know there's 500 of each. I, I, maybe at least one per, like, Master Case, right? Maybe? Maybe one per Master Case? Not sure. Gwena. Gwena, that's not the card that flips, no. Okay, it's the other one's the Mythic. Underground River and... Okay. Swifty, come on. Someone, someone, someone give us some luck here. Somebody. Slicer, Hired Muscle. And... Precursor Golem. All right. Nothing to gawk at. Nothing to gawk at yet. A few nice hits, though. I mean, I'm, there's no complaints. These boxes have been pretty good. It's always most excited. Uh, most exciting time is when you first crack in. You haven't looked at spoilers. You don't know what to expect. I mean, wow. I got my panties all in a bundle when uh, I, I cracked the first uh, two collector boxes. I thought that was really exciting, man. There's Tokaisha. Okay. Harbin. Sure. Got the chromatic. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Thorn of Amethyst. Slice and dice. Urza's command. Tease. It's the name Urza alone. Okay. Uh, it's going right here. Yeah. I'm gonna take it uh I'm gonna make good use of the time right now. And uh, we're gonna I'm gonna crack the other one. So you guys will see that video pretty soon after. Uh, Simeon Scholar Bone Shaw. Sure, sure, bone saw. Spring Scrap Ultra. Spring Scrap Ultra. There you go. Ah, death. Uh, death Bloom a Ritualist. Nothing too bonkers there. Okay. Four packs to go to wrap up the video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And gals. Come on. Over the top. Okay. Death Bloom. Geology Boy. All right, some swift foot booties. Yeah, yeah. Endure nothingness. I feel like a billion of those now. It's almost like they should have printed like more. Like they should have done more. They should have expanded uh, the set for the uh, the artifacts, just because they're appearing so often, like the same ones. You know, it doesn't feel like there's a like a hundred, right? One hundred twenty-five is there? It doesn't feel like that. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I just heard that somewhere. I don't know. I haven't really looked. Fade. Gix. There we go. Nice Yogmoth Praetor. Whew. That is sexy. 
Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Wizards, you clever girl, you. Okay, they got Urza, Chief Artificer, and Gix back to back. That was really dope. That was really dope. All right. Then we got Self-Assembler, the Metal, Phyrexian Processor. Yeah, what a freaking uh, pack this was. Another Mythic, maybe? Four Mythic pack, guys. Four Mythic pack. They're more common than we thought, so the five Mythic pack is really where it's at. If there's a five Mythic pack, that's the second quad mythic pack i've had it's pretty nuts man second quad mythic pack possibly the th possibly the third let's see what else we got shump fauna shaman yeah blade quail serpent that's that's cool okay mythic pile mm -hmm. and artificer artificer boy come on something juiced chromatic star psychosis crawler flame war Sure. Uh, a lot of mythics. Holy crap. That was a three mythic pack. And there's Sarenth Great Worm. If you're going to make a lot of mythics like that, can we increase the mythics in a, in a set to like 30 from like 24, 25? That'd be cool. One more pack, guys. One more pack. That would make that would make them worth more, you know? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows anymore? All right. Island. There's Officer. Sure. Brothers End, Woodcaller, Ivory Tower. Oh, goodness gracious. Sigil, Goblin, boys. I clone this. This is our last chance for glory. Gah! I bet the serial numbers make the cardboard taste terrible. Thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Appreciate you guys and gals for showing up. Have a good one. Skadoosh.